Okay, so I'll be going over the top three functions I wish I knew earlier. So the first one is the filter function. So all you need to do to add a filter to a table is highlight the headers in the table and click on this button here, which will create a filter. So now if you select the three lines, you can sort by the name or you can sort by the exam date. Another cool feature of the filter is that you can filter just by one subject, for example, and then from here, you can sort by the exam points to see who got the highest or who got the lowest score. So this filter function is extremely, extremely useful and is definitely a function I wish I knew earlier. Next up, we have the split function. Let's say I wanted to sort the student names by their last name. However, if I do that, it would only sort it by its first name. So what I need to do is first split the student's name into a first name and second name. So there's two ways to do this. So the first is to add a new column to the right, highlight the student's name, go to data, and then click on split text to columns. And now you have this little separator pop up. So what you want to do is select space because that's what separates the first name from the last name. And then now it's separated. So then all you need to do now is just change this to first name, last name. So the first way is static, so this means that the first and last name are independent of each other. The second way is dynamic, which I'll show you right now. So to split the names the second way, first add two columns to the right, then enter the function split, select the cell, then enter where you want to separate the cell by, which is the space, and if you do that, it will split the names. And all you need to do is double tap on this little square here and they'll split all the other names for you. So if you do this method, you can then add the first name here and last name header. This method is dynamic, meaning that if I edit the student name here, it will update over here. So if I change this to Ray Tay, I don't know, it'll update here. So if that's what you want, then the second method would be definitely for you. Then all you need to do to hide this column is right click on it, select hide column. And now you have the first name and the last name in separate columns. Okay, so the last function I wish I knew earlier is definitely how to highlight rows, or in other words, conditional formatting. So let's say I have this list here, and I want to see who has failed and who has passed their exam, assuming that to pass, they would need to get above 60. So right now, it's kind of visually hard to see who passed and who didn't pass. So one way to do this is using conditional formatting. So what you want to do first is highlight the entire table, go to format, and click on conditional formatting. Then come over here and then select custom formula. So first I want to add if the exam point, which is first you put an F2, cell so F2, if it's above or equal to 60, then it'll color it green. So right now it's not working properly because what you need to do is add a dollar sign in front of the F. So now it'll highlight those who pass their exam. Then now I'll add another rule and for those who got less than 60 I'll make it red so now I can easily see who passed their exam and who failed their exam and also I'm able to use a filter function again and sort by the color so I can see who passed up here and who failed down here so these are the top three functions I wish I knew about earlier if this video has helped you out in any way make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one